Kylie Jenner. Steph Curry. Gigi Hadid. LeBron James. Have you ever scrolled through a celebrity's Instagram posts and thought to yourself, why don't I look like that? Why don't I have that much money? Um, I wish I had that. <coughs> have you ever thought about how that affects your self-esteem and mental health? Even looking at your friends' posts can just make you so jealous and envious. Everyone on social media looks like they're having the best day ever all the time. It can make you feel like you're alone. You're the only one in the world with problems. Whether it's family issues, friend issues, any kind of problem. What happens inside your brain when you're envious? It causes neurological spikes in the cingulate cortex and the lateral septum, um, which are two areas that deal with social and bonding. Um, jealousy can trigger um, a part of your brain that causes physical pain. Um, have you ever felt relief when one of your enemies like, failed? That's because you were so jealous of them and you wanted everything that they had that when they failed, the pleasure center of your brain lit up. Um, jealousy can also make you curious. That's why you like stalk your ex's Instagram or Facebook or whatever after a breakup. Why do you feel the way you do? Victoria Garrick is the libero on the USC volleyball team. On the outside, she looks like she has everything she wants. On the inside, she is battling depression and anxiety. She had the opportunity to speak on the TED Talk stage, and about halfway through her speech, she showed the, this picture and this picture. She looks so happy. In these pictures, she was battling depression and anxiety. She explained that our society makes it seem like we need to be achieving all the time in order for us to be happy. Look what internship she got. Look what trip he went on. Um, it doesn't stop. This constant scrolling of people who look like they're doing so, so well. After you see all this, you sit back and say, what am I doing? What do I look like? You continue pushing yourself down a hole, and when you stop and try to get out, the hole is too deep, and you just continue making it deeper. Seeing everyone else succeed makes you feel like you have to be succeeding in order to be happy and valued. If I look like this, I'll be valued. If I go on this trip, I'll be happy. Um, we feel this way because of followers and likes. The more likes you have, the happier you can be. Who in this room has compared the number of their likes on their posts to post on somebody else's posts? I mean, I know I have. Like, it just happens. You don't even try to. You just do it. No matter well, what happens when they have more likes than you, you feel lesser than. No matter who they are, they're liked more than you. They're prettier than you. They're skinnier than you. They have more going for them. What can happen to your mental health? The University of Pittsburgh did a study on how long, ter on how long teenagers spend on social media and if they have an eating disorder or not. The teens that spent more time on social media have 2.2 times the risk of having an eating disorder or a body image issue um, compared to the teens that spent less time. Looking at all the perfect people on social media forces you to sit back and look at yourself and say, why don't I look like that? What do I look like? Am I skinny or pretty enough? Our society created an image in teenagers' minds that says, like, you have to look like this, you have to be like this, you have to do this, and you have to do that to be valued. Um, or you won't go far in life. The University of Pittsburgh School of Medicine conducted another study, um, and the results showed that the more time young adults spent on social media, 
the higher risk of depression they had and the more trouble sleeping they had. The UCLA Brain Mapping Center conducted a study on young adults ages 13 to 18. The results showed that when the When a, high, when a teen received a high number of likes on a post, they were happier. And the, um, the reward center of their brain lit up. It showed that teens were influenced to like a post because of the number of likes they had or the number of followers they had. It feels good to get many, like a lot of likes on your post. You feel like people are interested in you, one of the things that you're interested in. The need that teens have to get a high amount of likes can cause them to do things they wouldn't normally do, like participating in some challenge that's going on that could be risky, you know, like participating in bad behavior and photoshopping. Social media doesn't have to have a negative effect on us like it does. With all the research we have on it, you would think that things would change and that we would just have more fun with it than we do. And you may think that you're immune to this kind of stuff, but you're not. So take a weekend with your friends and unplug and put social media away for the weekend and see the positive effects on it has on you. Oh, yeah.